welcome to itsrafik in this video i am going to show you how we can find out the output of python program here we will use some simple programs we will not use loops only input statement and if statement to find out the output using uh, without using any software is known as dry run so here i will use both software and a dry run first i will show you the output in software then i will show you in dry run means how we can find out without using the software so first program is here it's given a comma b equal 4 comma 5 c equal a plus b print a b c means we have to find out the value of a b c so let's copy the program and we'll paste the program in python ide so here is our python ide after writing the program we will run so the output is showing as 4 5 and 9 now let's see how this output come at first it's given a comma b com uh, equal 4 and 5 that means a equal 4 and b equal 5 and the second line c equal it's given a plus b means 4 plus 5 so it will be 9 now in print statement it's written a comma b comma c means we will write only the value of a b and c so the output will be Four space five space and nine. So this will be the output. In exam, you will write only this part, the last line. Output four five and nine. The dry run part, this part you can do in rough page, or if the marks is more than one, then you can show it. Otherwise, uh, this part you can do in rough side of your answer script. Then the next question is question number two. Here, uh, first variable is name equal Priya is equal 13. And in print statement, it's written name comma is is plus 1. Here, age is a variable. It's already given as 13. Here again written as plus 1 means 13 plus 1, it will be 14 years old. So, the output will be in place of name. the name of a uh, value of the variable will come the value of name variable is priya so priya is and age is again variable with that variable one is added that means 14 then years old so this will be the output of the second program let's uh, run this program in python ide and see paste the codes now run so you can see the output is Priya is 14 years old so this way we can find out the output of this type of question now the third question it's a is given as hello means the a value is hello b value is 7 and in print statement it's written as a plus b now remember in python if we do some calculation the both value should be same kind means if you are adding then both should be string or both should be number like that here a is string but b is a number so it will return simply error so let's try this program in our software or python com interpreter let's run so here you can see type error 
can only means string and integer value cannot be added together here hello is a string and 7 is an integer value so we cannot add together this why it's written the uh, error so in answer you will write for that output error string value cannot be added to integer now move to question number four here given a equal b equal c equal five that means we have a equal five b equal five and c equal five now in print statement at first it's written so first let's we'll write output a plus b that means 5 plus 5 so it will be 10 the next one b plus c means 5 plus 5 so again 10 and third one c the value of c is 5 so it will be 5 so this will be the output of question number 4 now let's run this program in our python interpreter paste the code Now run. So here you can see the output is 10, 10 and 5. So this way we can find out the output of this question. Now move to question number 5. Here given a equal 5. So a is already 5. While you do, do the dry run then you will write like a equal 5. Next line b equal a plus 2. So b equal 5 plus 2 means it's 7. C equal a plus b. That means 5 plus 7. So it will be 12. So in print statement it is written a, b, c. Means we have to find out the uh, so the value of a, b, c. So output will be first the value of a, 5 value of b that is 7 then value of c that is 12 so the output will be 5 7 and 12 let's run this program in uh, python interpreter paste now run So the output is 5, 7, 12 as I got in my dry run. Now move to question number 6. Here we have used input statement and equal int input enter a number. Here int we use to convert the value whatever the user will enter that value will be converted into number. So here I am comparing if number is greater than 0 then it will show a message as positive number if n is smaller than 0 then it will show negative number else it will show that you have entered 0 and in question it's given that the user entered the number 5 as the number is greater than uh, number 5 is greater than 0 so it will stop here only and greater than 0 and it will show this line print positive number so the output will be positive number now let's uh, run this program copy the code and paste in python interpreter Remember in Python we don't use any bracket for conditions for that we have used tab. Tab means this uh, part is inside it the if statement. Now let's run.
let's uh, enter the number as 5 so it's showing positive number now let's enter a number uh, the number 0 0 it's showing you have entered 0 now let's enter a negative number minus 6 it's a negative number so this way you can find out the output of this kind of question now we'll move to next question question number 7 here print a uh, we have to find out the value of c a b so at first it's written uh, it's given that a equal 5 b equal 2.5 sorry and c equal hello and inside the print statement it displayed as c a b so the value of c is hello so at first it will display hello then the value of a which is 5 after that the value of b which is 2.5 so the output of question 7 is hello 5 2.5 let's run this program in interpreter run so hello 5 2.5 now next question question number eight here given a equals six so a is six b equal a plus one means six plus one it is seven and c equal a minus one that means here remember the value of a is six so six minus one will be five and we are displaying the value of a b c so output will be 6 7 and 5 now next question question number 9 here given uh, a equal welcome b equal to c equal python and here you will see within the quotation mark we have one blank spaces and the d equal a plus b plus c means i have added all the strings so the output will be first will come as a is added so the value of a is welcome then the next value of b to next value of c that is python so the output will be welcome to python let's do it in the python interpreter run okay so this is the output welcome to python now we'll move to question number 10 here the number uh, some variables are here n1 n2 n3 and n4 the n1 is 4 n2 is 5 and n3 is n1 modulus n2 means uh, 5 modulus 4 Modulus op operator returns the remainder. So if we divide 5 by 4, we'll get remainder as 1. And n4 equal n2 divide n1. That means 5 divide 4. So which will be again as 1. Now in print statement, the value of n3 and n4 are displayed. So the output will be 1, 1 means both n3 value is also 1 and 4 is also 1 now we can have uh, we can check this one on python interpreter copy it
paste here remove the unwanted spaces now run run module so this is the output 1 1.25 sorry I have did only the divide so that's why it is 1.25 so but if we do floor divide means divide symbol two times then the output will be 1 and 1 okay so now the answer is 1 and 1 so in this question Here will be two time divide symbol. So the answer will be 1 and 1. If there is one time divide, the answer will be 1 and 1.25. So this way you can find out the output of your uh, Python programs. In next video, we will show how we can find out the output of loops in a Python program. See you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye.